episode we had last week on the discourse, community policing, a baby of Tafa Adebayo Balogun, the Inspector General of Police. In the studio was the first public relations officer, Deputy Commissioner of Police, Chris Olakwe, a legal practitioner, Barrister Odiana Ereta, and Mr. Ademola Kende, a landlord and chairman of Igbenyadu Landlord Association, Mushin Lagos. If you missed last week's episode, this is another opportunity to learn one or two things about the project, community policing, and the benefit derivable from it. We have appealed through this program to members of the public to always watch their mirrors when driving as they could be trailed by unknown persons. These men on your screen are members of a robbery gang who trail unsuspecting victims to a point where they open their vehicles with their well-crafted master keys, all in a bid to steal valuables. They had the choice of a good life, but they chose to go the way of crime. Today, they're paying dearly for it. Sit back and listen to their confessions only on your favorite security program on television, Crime Fighters. Yes, yes Mr. Mr. Kennedy, you, you as a landlord, we, we, we have often had situations where we have, have criminals, criminals mm -hmm. you know, in most of these in your homes. Some, some of these are like, like the, 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 the people who say they are the spirits, the spirit, they are human beings, and they stay in various homes in the Lagos area. Yeah. And um, um, one, one begins to wonder why, why it's, it's so difficult for members of the public, especially the landlord, to so walk straight to the police to say, look, I have X, Y, Z in my premises, suspect him as a criminal, come in and, and, and you know, um, and get, get the person arrested. Why is it so difficult? Well, I, I want to say that uh, I don't know what part of the law, I, I'm not sure I, I stand to be corrected, that uh, if a criminal is apprehended in your house, that the landlord is treated as an accomplice. Uh, I think that part of the law will have to be uh, whipped up very seriously. If on the part of uh, you know those who are responsible try to make the public, especially the landlords, to realize the implication of keeping the criminal in the house, I believe they will sit up. And in your association, in you sometimes discuss this. Because oftentimes you get robbers, most, most of the robbers who have spoken to, to yeah. most, most of the time they start this, they the plan is they hatch it in a particular house before they move. Every time we meet, we do discuss Even before I come for this meeting, we do discuss it. If you see any, if you suspect any character in your house, even not in your house, even on the street, let me give you. Uh, you know, a very nice, uh, you know, uh, example of what happened to me just last week. I was just trying to pass by the front of my house. I saw some group of boys gathered. The minute I passed, I had the odor of India here. I have to tell them, look, guys, what are you doing here? You know how they normally react, those kind of people. They wanted to find me, so I left them. You understand? As they saw that I was making straight for, you know, they said, that Baba, I know him, he's going to the police station. So they all disappeared. You see, anywhere I've always, uh, you know, told my co, uh, you know, my colleagues in the area that if you find a, a, a suspect in your house, if you suspect anybody, a criminal, please, the confidentiality of the information, leave that to me. You give it to me, I know how to handle it. You understand? So I think in that environment, they know that all the landlords are always, you know, at alert. So they are very firm, even if, you know, they want to perpetrate the, you know, anything, they move outside. The problem that we normally have much is, you know, they come from outside. You don't know them. Like those people I challenge, I have never seen their face before. I know they are not in that area. You see, but you find out that some of these, uh, you know, criminals, like Riley said, they will, uh, you know, camouflage pretend to be good people but when they go out you know they join their colleagues you see and uh, you know and uh, you know as long as you show me your friend and i will let him be able to so when even if you look very innocent at home but the kind of people that visit you 
when we see them, we'll be able to you know, say, ah, what's, what kind of company are you keeping? And that is why parents are, you know, should be very, very uh, you know, be involved in this community policy. Wow. One, they should be very careful, watch the kind of uh, you know, friends and company that uh, you know, they are, you know, their children keep, and uh, watch the movement of uh, you know, their, their, their children. If you are supposed to come in at a stated uh, you know, period of time, you are not at home, I think the father and the mother should ask, where are you? Where have you been? Okay. And try to be inquisitive. I want to talk about about you and I want you to share your view, 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 view of the aspect, aspect of it. We, we have this community uh, policy center that has been introduced. And um, um, if, if you look, look at what the Malaysian groups have done, done in, in the recent, recent past, you know, you saw powers, you know, and um, doing things that they're not expected to do. But you see the civilians also abusing the power if the police and trust them with this new concept? I am, um, ideally, I, I think the, the concept, community policing, yeah, if we're managed, as I kept on repeating, no, that is not actually... How do you want them to manage? The issue of management, I thought I would come to that later, it ought to do with, one, issue of trust, then what we also derail this concept, corruption. Then what may also derail this concept is the issue of a centralization of the police powers. If, for what the concept it is, idea of, you know, um, making more beats, increasing maybe if it is police posts or police station you call in, that is stepping up the number of uh, police officers or patrol or whatever in the society, foot, we we'll call it the foot soldiers, foot policemen at this time, those who write us and all that. Then you should allow them to have a size some, take some decision on their own. They should be able to take decision at a particular time. Because this is a pre-colonial or colonial psyche in the police force, which is affecting us up to today. Sometimes they don't take decision until they get back and see the man upstairs. That does not mean we are removing the powers of the man upstairs. But if this man who is in the field, okay, you should be able to take certain decisions on your own. Then allow madam to take such steps. The issue of trust, which I kept on um, uh, hammering, you hardly, that is when issue of, like what we are doing now, they have to be much publicity. I need the police have to be, there should be a change of attitude. It's not just 10 points, uh, slogans, or whatever they call it. They must internalize these uh, values. If you say you are against corruption, you must be practical about it. If you say you, 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 you are cramping down criminals, you must be practical about it. If you say when you get information, you are not going to let the criminal know on you know the source of your information, you must be practical about it. Not on the, these steps are you know uh, being shown to the public. The public will not trust the policeman. Some people will tell you, ah, police, police are not friends. So you get what I mean. Not on to where I go, but it's not going to be very immediate. It will take some time. The, uh, the, the, the concept will take some time for us to actually make progress in it. Then the, 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 you ask a question just now on, um, um, you were talking about um, the, the, the civilians not abusing. The civilians the not abusing. That is also the problem we might have in this aspect. Uh, but uh, like what has happened of recent, these militia groups and all that, I have always believed that you don't solve a problem by uh, being very proactive, by confronting that problem. As such, uh, when there is a problem, of course you know these are existing structures, whether we recognize them or not, whether they are led or illegal. The OPCs, the Besu, blah, 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 and all that. What I believe the police should do, I call this person, it's not as if you are uh, giving them, you, know, you could call it the quasi legal, like they should be recognized in a way. You understand? Then you know where the offices are. Of course, this person should be responsible to the police. We should make them as such that they report back to the police. But the idea of making them your enemy, as because they are not legal, because they are not recognized by law, we should crush them or not, that this person also become very forceful. So as such, there's, there's probability of abusing these powers. But I am sure what that closeness, I mean, that friendliness should come. So long as the Lagos for Why I ask you this? 
is what, what we have, have come to see of OPC or the militia. The militia. Let me not just uh, 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 mention OPC. The militia. Yes, yes. It's a situation where they arrest you know, suspected um, persons and, and the, the suspected persons are dealt with by them. Jungle justice. Just, 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 yeah. They are detained. Yeah. I'm, I'm asking you, if the police force entrusts this community policing in our care. Is, is there, there a possibility, possibility that, that we might have used it? Well, I'm not trying to overrule that possibility. Um, or the jungle justice and all that. But what I feel the police should do is not a question of entrusting the project into their hand. The police is just telling the entire public, the militia group, whatever you call it, come and be our partner. You understand? The custodian of law and order in the society is not the sole owner of the police. You are part of the system. Come. But, but there should also be some reformation. This idea of just arresting somebody and killing him overnight, come. <laughs> I, you know, I'm not a party to that, but be my partner. Give me information. I will assure you this information will not be made to the suspect and all the source of this information. And it will take some time, but it's a question of comedies. There's fright in the society. When you see a policeman, it's a lot back, you know, if you begin to something like that. But I think it will take some time. But the police must be able to change. I mean, they must internalize this value of poli uh, poli uh, community policy. For instance, sorry, I will just take you ahead of the recent uh, issue of these uh, um, human rights organizations organizing protests and all that. With this project, by the time they study it properly, they will see that police are supposed to be a catalyst of progress, prosperity, of safety of everything in the society. The issue of uh, freedom of expression, of holding rallies and all that, um, um, the public uh, order act and all that. These are all colonial or whatever products. The police, uh, yeah, I know the police will no, react. Yeah, yeah, sorry, but the police. But the police of today. But the police of today with this project. Oh, the, 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 the police of today with this project. The police of today with this project. Human rights, yes, uh, human rights, might come. What is the problem, uh, really? Uh, you want to organize a rally? Okay, let it be. It should be friendliness. Now uh, we quite appreciate Thanks. what you're saying. The police is now more than ever assessing itself, reorienting itself towards this attribute of friendliness. But friendliness and rapprochement should be within the constitutional provision and the law itself. You look at freedom of expression, there's no absolute freedom anywhere in this world. But people are beginning to want to misinterpret that freedom to be freedom that is limitless. For instance, sections 37, 38, 39, 40, that gives people freedom to express themselves, to undertake rallies. Yes, they are there. But look at uh, section 45, 1 and 2. You find out that that one says the provisions of 37, 38, 39, 40 does not invalidate, does not invalidate any other act that seeks to protect public morality public safety, public order, and public health. And that your that seeks to give every citizen the right to proceed on this lawful business. That shows that within the rubrics of sections 38, 39, 40, and 41, public order act subsists. If you are undertaking to go on a procession, it behoves that you study the environment on national interest on national interest, not on parochial sentiments or stereotypes, on national interest. Then the police is there to guide and to see if so-so rally holds at so-so point, it is likely to cause a breach of peace to be identified by people. There are some areas you know sentimentally that belong to these boys who are misfriends. And if you choose to go and hold a rally in an area where misfriends subsist, the police will say no. There is no way you will conduct affairs that will not be hijacked by these misfriends. Because what they are looking for is bring down on law and order for them to now appropriate, expropriate, steal, maim, and then satisfy their, 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 their yearnings. So, to that extent, the police is still much, much, much in order. In order to ensure the smoothness of environment, the conviviality of environment for pursuit of the goal, whether social, economic, then the aspect of um, police is um, suspected and so on and so forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm yeah. taking him okay. one point at that point. Mm -hmm. That aspect of um, in the Yoruba Palace, I'm going to show it. We don't make friends with the police. These are colonial trappings that was used 
by people to drum up disregard for law enforcement.